NetSuite setup subsidiaries. I'm going to look at the availability and the country limit, currency limit, a subsidiary setup as well as the hierarchy structure modification tool. All right. So in NetSuite, you can see here um, you can have 250 uh, subsidiaries. If you need more, contact NetSuite. Okay. Um, if you go and look at your billing information page which is under setup company and it's right here at the bottom view billing information you will see here you've got a subsidiary count and a subsidiary count limit right and there you can see what's been provisioned and what's been used so i can see i've got 10 provision and i've got six used so i've got one that i can go and set up right so let's go and set up a new subsidiary um, sorry, just before I do that, for every parent, and you have a parent-child relationship with subsidiaries like most other records, for every parent, you can see there's an indent, so these are all children of this parent. For every parent, you must have at least one elimination subsidiary. The elimination subsidiaries do not count towards your limit, and inactive subsidiaries also do not count towards your limit. So if, let's say, U.S. company had a child subsidiary, then you will need to set up another elimination subsidiary. All right, so let's go and quickly set up. Oops, let me just pause for a second. All right, so let's call this one test sub. And here you can pick who is the parent. I'm going to use the same parent. All right, here you put in your logo. You've got two lot logos. You've got a forms and a pages logo. Every subsidiary can have, have its own logo. There you've got your website. None of these are mandatory. Document number prefix is important if you're going to use your auto-generated numbers. Then every subsidiary will have whatever you put in here. And so it'll be easy to know to look at a list of transactions. And from the document numbers, you'll be able to know which is which subsidiary. Right, so let's say this is Alabama country united states i'm going to leave all that stuff you should put in a return email address you'll see this cannot be changed because this is the addition of this account right i'm going to use currency usa here you can put in um, your your ein number ssn that kind of thing and addresses right so in in this specific account there is not multiple calendars if you had multiple calendars you would have to pick your right calendar yeah right so let's go and save all right and there you can see there the subsidiary has been created and if i show you the list you'll see there's now a new one here called test sub okay Let's then quickly just talk about the hierarchy modification tool, right? So if you have to insert or change or add a new parent or something that you cannot do with the with this from this page, you've got to go and give yourself access to allow subsi subsidiary hier hierarchy modification. Now it's really important that you read through here. Um, to be honest, I've done it a couple times and it is quite scary because you can lose financials, subsidiaries can be um, inactivated, budget exchange rate. So it is a little bit scary, but it can be done using this tool. And when you then edit this, you will be able to put in a new parent at the top here. So this is a very handy tool to know about. Um, Subsidiary is obviously very important for all your legal structures and to get this right is absolutely critical. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos if you found any value in my video. Thank you very much.